Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. No, I haven't been on here for a while. No, you guys miss me. I miss you guys too. But anyways, today we're gonna talk about how much money I made. What's the most money I made off of Uber by itself? Now, for seven days, for uh, basically a week. I'm gonna show you guys up here because I don't have no time to waste and I don't want you guys, I don't wanna bore you guys. So, I'm gonna post it up here, probably on the right side, left side, one of this side on the screen. Yo, you guys gonna see it on the screen. But anyways, as for this, this is not bad at all to make uh, $1,100 $1, for a week of Uber. And I know a lot of people have been asking me which one pays more, uh, especially down here in Florida. Is It varies for different cities. And uh, what else? Lyft pays more than Uber. Like I like Lyft. Like it pays more. Like it been going off. And this is basically without any searches. So I made like eleven hundred dollars in a week of Uber without any surges. I haven't uh, made like I haven't really saved the one that I made for a week for uh, for Lyft. I haven't screenshot it to get like proof to show you guys but I will be making an upcoming video when I have another week off from work and some time that I could actually do it and post that because I'll be making way more money off Lyft and Uber more than the job that I work because I work at Sam's Club I'm outside push carts I would work like four hours a day for like four days and they'd be cutting hours and stuff so it's just randomly but I love it, guys. You do have to pay your taxes the end of the year. They're going to send you a 1099 form the end of the year. They send you a 1099 form. And you could also deduct your taxes out of it. Uh, make sure you have all your receipts for all the gas that you purchase, all the maintenance that you've done on your car, like tires, your oil change any mechanical issue with your car that you paid for make sure you hold a receipt so uh you could deduct that out of your taxes but so far so good guys i love it i love driving for lyft i love driving for uber i never have no problems with anyone i do it in the morning and i don't really do it full time i do it like from 7 to like 11 in the morning and in the afternoon I do it from like four to eight. So I do it like that. And you do have the option to turn it off and turn it on anytime you want to. So I love it. That's the best thing they ever came up with because I'm tired of managers and bosses telling you what to do, or telling you what to do your own job. With Lyft and Uber, you your own boss. You turn it off anytime you want to. You turn it on anytime you want to. If you decide, if say like you make a hundred dollars or if you made fifty dollars in like in like an hour because it varies it really goes up and down sometimes the, the the trips be long sometimes the trips is short sometimes it'd be a sheer ride it depends so sometimes i'll be making like fifty something dollars like in an hour sometimes twenty five dollars in an hour sometimes more thirty forty it goes up and down in the, the eight hours that I work because I split it up so much or sometimes in six hours I'll be making like a hundred and nine dollars so it, it varies guys it really varies but at the end of the day it paid and I know a lot of people have a lot of issue a lot of question by asking me don't you put a lot of mileage on your vehicle or they also pay for that they also deduct that out of your taxes your mileage and everything it'll show up on your uh, on the Lyft and the Uber app at the end they deduct all that as well so that's not bad at all and what else I wanted to tell you guys something else as well so as I was saying oh yeah they be asking me oh don't you put a lot of wear and tear on your car the first thing that I tell people is I have a Toyota Toyota don't give you no major issue once you keep up with your oil change you basically good to go. Your oil change, you change your tire when it need to be changed, and no mechanical issue. I know people that who have newer vehicles that their vehicle be just breaking down faster. Like I, I just don't know. I, I stick with Toyotas. Cause Toyotas, they are 
reliable the Japanese really put really put their work in they really know what they're doing with their vehicles so it really lasts long right now I have 215,000 miles on my car and I don't have no major issue I never changed my fuel pump I never have no mechanical breakdown the only thing that I keep up is uh, with my oil change I change my tires and that's about it oil change tires oh yeah oil change tires and brakes that's all that I changed so far and this is a 2007 uh, Toyota Avalon that I have so I don't have no major issue I know people who have 2012 higher 13 14 they be having like all type of issues like I don't I don't know I stick with my Japanese car Toyotas Lexus Acuras Hondas stick with your Japanese brand and you're not gonna have no major issue that's all I gotta say I don't know about no other vehicles I don't even trust Nissan like that to tell y'all the truth they be breaking down fast too <laughs> even though they're a Japanese brand that's the only brand that I I don't like Nissan's but anyways let me get back on topic so yeah you could write off your uh, doing your process of you doing your your taxes just hold all your receipts for all your maintenance that you do on your car and all the receipts that you put in for your gas and another thing uh, one of my supervisor well she's not a supervisor no more but she's making a, a co-worker of mine uh, making like $18 an hour and she had came to me and she was like oh come on I'm so happy because my check in two weeks be like about a thousand dollars and some change I was like girl I'll be making eleven hundred and change in one week while you have to do it for two weeks without the stress without the, the without the stress without the aggravation from a manager telling you what to do other people telling you what to do I do it on my own time I do it I, I'm the boss nobody could tell me nothing basically but I really appreciate you guys coming through watching this video. I thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as I said, it's it's easy to sign up for Lyft and Uber. Real easy. Uh, for Lyft, they changed the policy. I think you have to have like a 2017 vehicle model. Vehicle, yeah. 2017 year. They changed the policy. I don't know why. But they're going to change it back soon. So now you got to have like a 2017 and up. 2017 or no vehicle to start driving with Lyft with Uber I can't remember what year you got to start with but hey do what you got to do if you want to make extra money on the side you don't have to do it full time do it on the side drive in the morning only because you know in the morning if you scared or have some type of feeling that you don't trust any 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 of anybody drive in the morning because in the morning it's basically people who's going to work or school because I've been picking up a lot of females in the morning a lot of females in the morning it be guys too but majority I be getting a lot of females in the morning dropping them off at school or work most of the time yeah so if you don't feel safe doing it do it do it in the morning then not the night yeah so uh, <laughs> this guy right here Oh yeah, I know him too. Yeah, I know this guy. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> yeah, um so that's about it guys. Uh thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Didn't want to bore you guys, but that's how much I made guys. And I do have a friend make way more than that what I made. He be making like about fifteen hundred. Some people make twenty five hundred a week. You just got to put in the work. You got to do it full time. But it do varies in cities. In the city here in Florida. South Florida that is. Down here. Because uh, I live in like Fort Lauderdale. My friend stay in Miami. He be making way more than me over in Miami. Than here in Fort Lauderdale. But sometimes it be taking you. 
I be end up in in Miami. Sometimes I end up in Boca. So you go back and forth, but the money is real good, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. Bye-bye.